So we got uh, trauma, toxins, and here comes the biggest one. The biggest one. Thought. Thought causes the disease. And you say, well, is there something wrong with the biology? And I go, here's the fact. There is nothing wrong with the biology. If you send the wrong signal at an inappropriate time, by definition, then you're not in harmony with the world around you. And this is really what the main cause of our problems are. Not that we have any physical defects, we're just sending inappropriate signals through the system to control our biology. I say, well, what does all this represent? Well, I say, well, trauma is a physical stress, toxins are a chemical stress, <clears throat> and thought, emotional stress. I say, well, guess what? They're all, by definition, stress. And the American Psychological Association says from 75 to 90 percent of all physician office visits are for stress-related ailments. So up to 90 percent is already recognized to be due to stress. And so this is the issue, the most important issue we must deal with. Not trying to work on the genes. That's a small issue. It's this life that we must work on, not, not the genetics of the system. Okay? So, Mind is thought. So I say, ah, well, we have a mind, and we have stress, okay? I say, yeah, but there's two kinds of stress. One is called eustress, that's called good stress, and one is called distress, which is bad stress. So you mean there's a good stress? I go, yeah, there's a good stress. You go outside and play some footy outside, or you play some kind of sport, you're exercising, guess what? You're stressing your body. Yeah, but here's the point. That stress encourages the growth and health and maintenance of the body. It's a eustress, a good stress. And the opposite is called a distress. I said, what's the difference? And here's what it is. A distress is anything that gets in the way of your pursuit. Whatever you want in your life, if something gets in the way of getting there, it's going to cause stress. So we know where stress is. It's anything that prevents you from getting to where you want to go, wherever that is, wherever you want to go. So sports, good stress. Bad thinking, distress. Oh, I have to give one exception. Uh, the gladiators in Rome, they had used stress in practicing, and they had distress in playing the game. Because <laughs> if you lose the game, you lose your life, and that automatically is distress right there. I put cells in a Petri dish. I have two sets of dishes. In one set of dishes, I put nutrients in front of the cell. In a second set of dishes, I put toxins in front of the cell. And then I put them back in the incubator and come back after a period of time. And my question is simply this. Where are the cells going to be when I come back and into these dishes? You already know. It's so obvious. But it's like, how come I have so much trouble getting medical people to understand the obvious here? And the obvious situation is this. When you come back, and the cells where nutrients are there, the cells move to the nutrients to take them in and grow. In contrast, in the dish that the toxins are in, the cells move in the opposite direction and close themselves down in protection. And I say, well, what's the significance here? And I'm going to tell you what the significance is. Growth is moving toward the stimulus with your arms open, taking it in. Be it food or love or whatever you're looking for that's healthful, you move to it, arms open. But if it's a threat, you move away from it, but your arms close to close yourself down. Point, you cannot move forwards and backwards at the same time. You can't be open and closed at the same time. What's the point? You can't be in growth and in protection at the same time. And this because becomes the biggest problem in the world. It's the biggest problem in the world because if I get you afraid enough, if I stress you enough, put enough fear in you, I know what's going to happen. You're all going to get sick. And then you start to look at the world today, and you realize exactly what the problem is, and that is we are stressed out. And the stress is causing the illness, not our biology.